Paul says, uh, what are you guys charging to post four GMB posts a week for like a dentist or a chiropractor? Well, I don't deal with those type of cl uh, clients, but um, it, it, you know, it's going to vary. I can tell you what my standard pricing is, guys. Um, you know, my minimum charge is $300 a month for GMB posting. And right now that's roughly 20 posts per month. It, it varies a little bit, but I, I usually when I'm pitching that, it's five posts per week times four weeks. So it's 20 posts per month for $300. That's what I do. Um, you know, I don't, I, again, everybody can charge whatever they're comfortable with, whatever you can get from your, you know, from your, your, your type of clients. I'm just telling you my, what I charge is $300. If I'm doing uh, GMB plus plus citations, I charge $500 a month. And that's for the same for 20 posts per month. But then that's also including, uh, you know, citation building, but I do just GMB posts alone for $300. Now, if it's a business that wants to be more aggressive, I will offer upgraded, you know, upsell packages where we might do seven posts per week or which is be one every day, or we might do 10 posts per week, which would be two posts per day, five days per week. You know what I mean? It just depends on what the, what the customer wants or what the client wants, how aggressive they want to be. It also depends on the competition level for that particular business. Obviously, before I promote uh, or pitch a prospect on any of the services, I typically do some sort of audit or analysis of their property to like competition analysis to determine what it's going to take. And so, um, you know, obviously if it's a very competitive area, I'm going to suggest much higher volume of posting. And so it might be that we do, you know, three posts per day, seven days a week, which would be 21 posts per month per week, excuse me, or what 84 posts per month, essentially. And so that would be a much higher price. I would be charging somewhere around, you know, $600, $700 a month for that. It also depends on whether your client, is, which most of them don't, but whether your client provides the images. Correct. Because if you have to go and, and grab the images and, and do all of the work for the images, man, that's, that's, that's a pain in the ass. And so you, you need to charge extra. If they just refuse uh, to, to even if they agree, you say, make sure it's clear that if you do not provide me images, then I'm going to have to charge you for providing the images. Yeah. For $300 a month for the 20 that we do, we, we actually provide the images. I encourage the um, business owners. Like, for example, I've got a lot of, I've got several clients now that are, are that we're doing GMB stuff for. And so what we, what I do is I set up a Google photos album, a shared fo photos album. And then I uh, share it with them and then they can share it with all like, for example, you, you guys know, I deal with mainly contractors. So uh, a lot of the contracting companies have, you know, multiple technicians or whatever. And so then they share that Google photos folder with their technicians or whatever, and whoever is also going to be contributing photos. And so now we've got one community Google photos album that all the photos go into. And in my VA that does all the GMB posting, she has access to those folders as well. And so each time she goes to schedule posts for the week for that client, she just opens the Google Photos folder and that that works. Uh, and she just selects images right from there. And for for the first couple months that I was doing this, I couldn't get any of my clients to provide me photos. But now I've got almost all of them providing me photos. It just took two months of me griping and bitching at them and nagging at them to get them to finally come on board and start providing me photos. But um, I'd say 80% of them now are, are actually contributing photos to the um, Google photos folder often. Okay. So 